What's up with everybody? She's Memoya B. And Nicole. And we're back at another reaction video. Mm -hmm. Um, came across the video. Top 10 teenagers. Uh, 10 guilty teenage convicts reacting to life sentences. Yeah, man. We definitely look forward to checking this out, yeah. man. It's probably going to be kind of, like, yeah, sad. It's going to be sad, you like, know, giving life sentences. Yeah, Like, it's your sentences. whole life, like, yeah. gone, taken away. You're so young. So to get we, that as a teenager, you must have done something really bad, yeah. though. Yeah. So we definitely look forward to checking this out. Mm -hmm. Let's dive right into it. Dang. Oh, gosh. What did you do? I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as what? well. What? Dang. Oh, the judge said that? Oh, my God. That poor guy. Look at his face expression. What did he do? I don't know. What, don't know what any of these guys did he said, do? Or what they're accused of doing. And do you think the judge would be a little bit more professional? Saying, right. said, yeah. I hope you die in prison. I Unless know. he must have done some really, really messed up stuff. Had to have been. <laughs> oh, yeah. Second degree murder. I think I've I think I seen this one. I think he killed, like, um... A, a child, a baby? When you're a teenager, uh, your life has barely began. You're still learning how to live your life. Right. Well, imagine yeah. having the rest of your life torn away from you and spending yeah, the rest man. of your life in Yeah, just can't imagine. It's just gotta be so scary for those yeah. kids. That, that judge takes away your life in the bang of a gavel. Well, we're going to see what that is exactly like right now as we dive into 10 teens reacting to life sentences. Mm. This first convict, known as Nicholas Lindsay, was actually too young to receive a life sentence when he was first handed into the police. But upon his resentencing, he was met with life behind Aww. bars. Dang. When the judge reads out this sentence, Nicholas just sits there, grinning, showing zero lack of remorse for his crime. His mother walks out and just says, it is what it is. There is no indication that this type of violent behavior will stop criminal history and odds of rehabilitation must be considered Jeez. before life without parole is imposed the court has significant doubts about the defendant's potential for rehabilitation his mom said little when it was over what did he do the judge ordered, so that's what it is it is what it is but Lindsay actually i guess you would, like screw it whatever yeah. his ruling the lack of remorse not lost on david daughter, amanda yeah justice reserved and I'm glad it's over. I guess he murdered his yeah. murdered her daughter. He's an animal as he sat there smiling. This next teen receives his sentence for starting a fire that killed an innocent teenager. A stupid oh. mistake which cost an innocent life and ruined another. You could tell by the way this teen is reacting. Yeah, he didn't mean that he to. He completely regrets his stupid decision and even starts praying as he cries. Life in his prison for that though? Yeah. Shows that there is something Oh. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. Dang. He, he can't even let out a cry. He is. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. It sucks though. Dang, boy. He, yeah. Dylan Shoemaker is someone we've covered before. That's horrible, but man. This story is so yeah. intense that I thought I'd share it again. Dylan is being sentenced here for the murder of a sweet, innocent baby. So, yeah. He killed his girlfriend's uh, child, and when the court day comes, he tries to plead that he didn't mean to kill the child, despite the fact that the baby was beaten to death. Oh, God. Oh, bro, you, yeah, you did it, bro. It, I mean, well, you beat the yeah, child to you death. Yeah, you didn't mean to. Yeah. You're beating him. Beating a child to death, yeah, man. Yeah, it's not Come like on. an accidental thing. Yeah. You beat him. He must have been like really pissed off with his girlfriend or something, and he just issues, yeah, and control, yeah, something. bruh. They, they, Louise, they give you life for that. Over the jury didn't work, and he is serving his life sentence. Years to life. I can't take back what was done. I wish I could. I would give my life for Austin. Clearly, you wouldn't. A lot. Austin Smith was completely defenseless. That's a that's a given. Look at the defense attorney. I mean, I you, you got to do what you got to do, man. You got to defend your yeah, client, man. So I guess yeah. I respect so the defense you attorney. To, yeah. You got to defend your, you we said, but <laughs> this dude, credit. yeah, <laughs> it's a bush. He was actually caught by the judge for actually trying to text his mother <laughs> saying that he hopes the jury will feel sorry for him. And that he's gonna cry on purpose to try and lie oh, his sentence. Oh, you are, oh, yeah, bro. Twenty third, two thousand thirteen. In a phone call to your mother from the holding center, you stated, and I got a quote from the court reporter: "I am a sixteen-year-old blonde. 
probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury. Okay, well, it didn't work on you, bruh. Philip Chaim oh, looks like that a didn't work. school student, but he is anything but. <coughs> he is actually in court for murdering his teacher. The teacher was actually only 24 years old. Yeah, she was young. Extremely young for a teacher. She was just starting her life up when it was taken away from her in a blink of an eye. Philip was sentenced to life, and here's his reaction. Jury having returned a verdict of guilty of murder in the first degree on deliberate premeditation. And Why did he try to kill his teacher? I don't know. You no, he did kill her. Why? I don't know. You. The court having duly considered your offenses, it is hereby ordered that you be committed to the Department of Youth Services until the age of 21, and furthermore committed to the Massachusetts Correctional Institution at Cedar Junction. For the Dang. period of not less than 25 years and not more than life. And that you stand committed in execution of this sentence. Jodie Arias Dang. is the first female yeah. on this list. She was being sentenced for the murder of her ex-boyfriend. Her boyfriend was actually famous for saying these disturbing words to his friend. Don't be surprised if one of these Sundays I don't show up and you find what? me dead in some place. That's exactly what happened before she was sentenced to life in prison. She actually killed her ex-boyfriend just like he said she would. But I had Whoa. to my life just like I did on June 4th, 2008 because I realized how selfish it would be for me to escape accountability for this mess that I've created. I have two brothers, two sisters, several nieces and nephews, a mom, a dad, eight aunts, nine uncles, over 20 cousins. What's she naming everybody? I know, what does that mean? Yeah. Friends, what do they have to do with it? If I took my own life or if I allocuted and begged for the death penalty and then got it. The most important thing I want to say is that I am very sorry for the enormous pain that I've caused the people that love Travis. I'm horrified because of what I did and I wish there was some way I could take it back. Court finds. The defendant has no prior criminal history. The defendant has family and community support. The defendant has mental health issues. The court has also considered the defendant's childhood background. The court finds the mitigation presented Guilty. is not sufficiently substantial to call for leniency and that a natural life sentence is appropriate. It is ordered. Hmm. The defendant shall be incarcerated in the Department of Corrections for the rest of her natural life with no possibility of parole. Dang! This teenager Dang. freaks like out after over. the sentence. The defendant freaks Look out. Look at him, boy. He's freaking boy. Yeah, he the really does. Court. No, I don't want to go. Oh. I don't want to go. Damn, man. What, he did. what did he do? Fernando Salgado begs to get to go home. This next team was sentenced to life in prison Dang. after he and his girlfriend robbed and killed an elderly lady. Oh, hey. come on, bruh. Went wrong, and while trying to escape, the team shot and killed the woman who was completely defenseless. Yeah, you done, bruh. Oh my he's gosh. sleeping and stuff. He really don't give a care. He's no. also seen actually falling asleep at one point during the sentencing. With a chuckle, a laugh, and yawn after yawn, David Moses acted strangely. And he really doesn't seem to care. Now he don't care. He don't care, man. That's what I gave that boy that time for. Once, but twice, suffered physical, verbal, and emotional abuse growing up, uh, leading to uh, a lengthy criminal history. Maybe that's part of it. Sexually I mean, it's a lot. It's like it's a, it's a lot like that with a lot of people. Disabled cousin and Dang. seven other children while he was in a group home. While Sessions' family said they hoped to one day see her again in heaven. Moses's attorney asked the judge for hope as well, in the form of a possibility for parole. To give him that hope. Just parole. Wow. For the next 25 years, uh, that he may have an opportunity to be returned to society. Well, his defense attorney, man, he trying, though. Let's think. He yeah. said, at least, well, least, least let him get parole. I like the way know? he's structuring it, at least. Yeah, just, yeah. He's not saying, like, he's just saying to give him an opportunity. Yeah, so, like, like maybe, he's like, change yeah, 20, get, 25 years, right. not 30 years, maybe right. he'll change. You know, you know people, people do change. change. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, the judge sentenced Moses to life in prison without the possibility oh, dang. of. Dang. And that's in the penitentiary for the rest of his life. TJ Lane was convicted hmm. for killing three of his fellow high school students. Jeez. Whoa, bro! A very young serial killer. Three, yeah. yeah. Hey, look at him. No yeah. He doesn't look like he cares. Yeah, he don't care. See, that's an... I, I don't know. Again, they're young. I think they can change, but... When he was being when they don't have remorse, then I kind of don't blame him. Yeah. Oh, snap, yeah. Dang, he's got something. Yeah. He's a very kind, 
and loving. Yeah, he's a serial killer. Why would you want to hurt him? You, you don't know, kind. You're evil. I will have to eventually forgive you. Otherwise, you will haunt me. You will never, ever be in my thoughts after this. Never. My family will move on, not you. You have ruined your life, not to mention Adams. Even gave you a ride. Nick, even gave you a ride from school. That's you don't care. Kill five people. You don't give a care. All they did was go, want to go to school. TJ also escaped prison a year huh? after he <laughs> with another inmate who was actually captured. 19-year-old TJ Lane Whoa. escaped from the Allen County Correctional did Center in him? Lima, Ohio. And a massive search is underway for Lane and 45-year-old Clifford Aparud. Lane was serving three life sentences for the February 2012 murders of three students in Chardon High School, east of Cleveland. Witnesses said he just walked into the crowded cafeteria that morning and started shooting. He was just dead silent the entire time. Dang. Oh, didn't say anything before. This next teen actually we feel like he got nothing to lose. Yeah. What? With one of his what a hatchet? The great grandma? Disturbing. The team was of course sentenced to life in prison and responds by saying that the news liked to twist a lot of things around. I mean the news do do that, but... It he does do that, but, but I don't know about William though. What did times it twist? If you face. killed her with the hatchet. Then Barbo smirked and shook his head when the prosecutor spoke. He read only a few words from his own statement. There's a line going around said by the news DA and many other people that I'm a cold, heartless, careless, careless killer. That's that's not true. <laughs> Instead of starting his freshman year in high school, 14-year-old... Dang, 14. This next video is very famous for showing a teenager who almost starts laughing when he is sentenced... Oh, he really don't give a curve. Look, he rubbing his hands and everything. Yeah. ...is in tears and is so choked up she can't even speak to the jury as his sister has to stand in for her. The only words the teen has to say for himself are these. He has a mother shed tears for her son, shot and killed by right. I've lost laughter and love. I no longer have the hope of having grandchildren. I've lost the enjoyment of holidays and birthdays and of everyday life. Wright addressed the court showing no remorse. I just want to tell y'all, I'll be home soon. I'll be Keon. I love my family. What? This dude. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make I'll be home soon. I bet they definitely gave him like without pro. Well, yeah, and sometimes I feel like these kids are just so cocky that they literally think they're going to get away with it. Yeah. Not. 20 like, years from now, maybe you're not gonna get away with it, dude. 10, 20 years from now, when they're older, maybe right. some of them will change their think about like that was stupid what I did. Right. You know, I, you know, I was young, and then some would probably play like that for the rest of their life. Some may even just be pure sociopaths. I mean, yeah. there's only so much. I don't yeah. know. It's interesting. But this okay. was crazy. It was crazy. Man. It was crazy to see, like the the ones that were emotional. Like I get it, and that was sad because yeah. you messed up, and now you regret it. Yeah. You don't regret it. That is just that's yeah. crazy. That's crazy, man. Ugh. But yeah, man. This mm -hmm. this is a crazy video, man. Comment down below, man. What was the worst like at all? I think the the, the kid that smashed the baby, the, you know, yeah. the baby to and death. Then, and then the guy that um saying, hacked his grandma, oh, hit his yeah. grandma on the hill to hack. Ugh. I mean, hatch, whatever. Hatch it? Yeah, hatch it, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, man. But we're going to end this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your memorial B. And Nicole. We'll catch you on the next day. Awesome. Peace and love, baby.